Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga. Welcome by this blooming update for the month of September 2022. And we're starting with this beauty. I thought this one is going to be the first one to film because it's such a beautiful orchid and also a little bit strange. This is the Dendrochylum magnum. And as you can see, it's given me two spikes, two of these beautiful long spikes. It starts with a uh, unmature new growth and those are blooming and after the blooming it apparently is making the bulb and then the new growths come etc that's the cycle but i hope we can see maybe let me check i'm sorry i don't want to make you dizzy but i hope you can see let me try it like this my camera is a little bit having a uh, hard time to film all those little blooms they are a beautiful yellow color Maybe this helps. Yeah, I think this is more accurate as you can see the lighter yellows there. But once again, if my camera has a, a little bit of difficulty to film this, but like I said, two beautiful spikes. And it looks very beautiful. Hang, let them hang, hang over the edge, I think. Quite, quite away from the shelf. We have quite some room here, so. Uh, that was the, the first one I really wanted to film. Here in the background, you see this one uh, very often, I think. It's a odontoglossum type orchid. I have the tag here, if you want a, a Bialara, actually. But this one is blooming very often. So we have this one uh, fairly often, like I said, in, uh, in bloom. So that's the one over here for the rest. Of the orchids are not blooming yet at least in this area let's go over here look at all those blooms yes those are nearly eilers the first one has four spikes we have one here one there one there and it opens just or is opening this one so these are very fresh freshly opened and it did just bloom on three spikes already so this is uh, giving me for this year at least seven spikes and I have some new growths in the back so maybe some more so this is the regular Swiss beauty Nelly Eiler uh, Swiss beauty yes and this one is going about to go over now and that is the uh, more reddish one red velvet yes I need to check the tag quickly so that's uh, Nelly Island Swiss Beauty uh, Red Velvet, and then we have Swiss Beauty Orange. Beautiful. Blooms as well, if you ask me. It has two spikes. We have one in the back there as well, as you can see. So those are my three Nelly Islers, and they are blooming at the same time. So they give quite a show, I think. And personally, I love the fragrance. Some people hate it. I really love it. So you can imagine uh, if you know the Nelly Air, how, how this uh, orchid room is uh, smelling right now. It, it's wonderful, I think. Down there, I have my jewel orchid with several spikes, as you can see. It's the uh, Alba version. Let me zoom in a little bit on this spike here. So it has these teeny tiny little blooms, white with a little bit of yellow on the lip. But the green one is uh, having currently four spikes opening up. So that one is obviously blooming. And above these guys, we have this one. Let me check if this helps. I think it's making it a little bit too dark, but this is a, a first time bloomer. And I really enjoy the colors. I'm sorry, I'm touching the spike. This is the tag for this one. It's an onto, uh, onto sidium. Putting the tag back, at least I'm trying. And the blooms did go. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful, I think. Beautiful. So those are here. Then we have this one. This is the second spike. And it's the tiger tail. Oh, don't. Glossum, Odontocidium, something like that. I think it's the commercial name. 
and it has that very long spike over here very very long the second spike isn't uh, nearly as long but it's okay it's just uh, you can see the color difference there and i have some tissue underneath that because we had some aphids on this one sadly you can see when it's freshly is open it's uh, more yellow which i personally like and then it's the yellow fades a little bit but still a beautiful bloom then this one is almost in uh, every <laughs> Almost uh, every uh, time of the year in bloom for me. This is the uh, Starwick from the Incas. It feels like this one is always blooming and luckily because beautiful. And you can see I have a lot of yellow and these reds in my collection because I like these colors. And it's already working on another spike here. And very close to it, we have this one. You probably will recognize this one because I see it quite often. And it's, it's now getting us some sunshine, which is making it even more beautiful. Perry Root Carpenter. Two spikes. I had a few more buds, but somehow those did blast. I think two of them here. Three, actually. I don't know why, but it happened. But this one is beautiful, especially in the sunshine. So above uh, uh, Peggy Root, we still have this, no idea, Odonto Glossum type. But it's going over now, so the blooms are fading a little bit. And we can see here, I need to spray this one. If it's so annoying. Incredibly annoying. And we already lost some bloom. So yeah, the aphids don't, don't help as well. But it was in bloom for quite a while. So I was to, about to go over. And then we have this one. <laughs> this is such a beautiful. A very uh, special fragrance this one has. I personally love it. It reminds me of Ennis. I hope I pronounced it right in English. But um, yeah, Ennis. There's a hint of anise in it. I love the fragrance of anise. So. Beautiful, blue, beautiful blooms. Very large spikes, or the blooms are very large, I should say. So the spikes are starting to uh, bend over. I'm grabbing the tag. Because you, if you don't have this one and you come across it, I really recommend this one. It's such a beautiful plant. Very deep color, very deep purple, and that burgundy color in that lip there. It's really beautiful. And as you look at it from a distance, it really uh, can give quite a show. As you can see, next to it, we have a no ID Odonto Glossum type. This one I love as well. Yeah, I say that with every orchid, I think. <laughs> I show you guys, but as you can see, very heavy blooms. But I am just checking if I can let it be because I don't like to stake them. And so far, so good. But if this gets a little bit more bigger, maybe they will snap, or maybe the spikes will do get a little bit bigger because the plant is stronger. Who knows? But uh, so far, so good. And look at those three that beautiful, bright yellow of the dancing lady. Pink and red, so it really is a beautiful show. Also, this one is uh, now going uh, over. But we have some good bloom still. But yeah, this one put up quite a show. What a beautiful, strong spike. This one grew. And then over here, we have this one. Which always also fades, as you can see, it's a bit lighter. But when they start freshly opening up, they are they are color-wise at their best, I think. Because I, this is not doing much for me, and this one is really going over now. But still, they do fade. But when they, uh, like I said, freshly open, they are very beautiful. And then this one is back in bloom. beautiful red one and I have a tag for this one yes it's a uh, Wilsonara Inferno Wilsonara Inferno beautiful 
orange brown reddish color which I personally love so that's a very beautiful one and then up above this one it's just opening up these blooms are spectacular I think look at this aren't those little pieces of art <laughs> all those beautiful colors I try to get a fairly uh, nice background so we can focus more on the blooms but I have a lot of mess on my uh, in my uh, little kitchen <laughs> but yeah isn't this beautiful this is the second time it blooms for me and this bloom uh, this year it's even getting better the plant is fairly young but you can see it's getting stronger and stronger the spike is very uh, fairly strong as well I think it will start to arch over as well when uh, the last three uh, buds do open up as well I'm not sure if this going to develop any more any further but yeah uh, let me grab the tag before I forget Alciara Hawaiian Hawaiian Nights oh I'm sorry for the glare so there is this one yes yeah, stunning I love this one fairly big blooms as you can see which I uh, personally like as well and then above that one we still have the Pinocchio Pafio Pedlum Pinocchio in bloom this is uh, I have the Alba, Alba version and you see the new buds are uh, developing as well already so this has uh, been in bloom for quite uh, quite quite a while because it keeps making new ones luckily so let's uh, give a overview and then we have all these beautiful colors over here and let's uh, have a look inside of my greenhouse you pr probably hear uh, some background noises but um, I have the kit running because it's it's a very nice sunny day and it uh, means that it uh, does get quite warm in here so I need to have my ventilators on and such so I hope it's not uh, too, too distracting from the video but let's have a look at this beautiful one Psychopsis butterfly such a beautiful bloom fairly big as well I love this one it's very beautiful and right above it we have a fell blooming then we have this beautiful Tolumnia, Tolumnia Yarek Flyer Glues. I hope you can see the tag. I don't want to take it out because of the roots, um, who are maybe attached to this one. Yeah, this is the first time that I have this one in bloom. So far, I had uh, three of my uh, Tolumnias uh, reblooming, so we're doing better with them. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. And I have a few blooms open on some epidendrum. Just a few, as you can see, the rest is uh, stopped blooming. A conifer plant <laughs> in bloom. A very misformed Cattleya bloom. It does have the fragrance, but the bloom is looking very crazy. Perhaps. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. I did have a little coffee break, <laughs> uh, which wasn't planned, but my battery died. But I think we were talking about this Cattleya. Um, I don't know if I did show the tag. I think I didn't. For those who want to know, the Prada Green Deluxe. And this one, like I said, maybe seaweed, but I don't think so, because this is the only one that is showing such a odd, strange... Uh, bloom and the rest of my orchids do, are doing fine so I don't think it is the seaweed I don't use much seaweed but those are always things that I think of when I see misformed misshaped blooms and plants just to know what did I give them is it my fault or is there something uh, wrong with the plant I'm not sure but I do know that this one needs a repot this one is fully uh, potted in LECA and as you probably know, I don't like yeka, le, yeka, leka of lika. 
just uh, I think if you are in Europe we call it lekka but uh, yeah I don't uh, like using lekka only lekka so I will uh, repot it so thereby you can see if it only has lekka in the pot it's been in that pot for quite a while I think over four years to be honest so yeah it needs to come out but I will wait for a new growth first with cattleyas that's a little bit easier in mainly with August don't get me wrong but this one is obviously already adapted to the system so that must, should make a repot a little bit easier but anyhow I will wait for new growths uh, then we have this beautiful very bright orange colored one a few blooms are starting to go, go over now this is my um, golden peacock putting up two beautiful new growths as you can see one here and one there and both of them have beautiful spikes and beautiful blooms on them so yeah beautiful very bright color as you can see and above this maybe this is a yellow bird I'm not sure I do have a yellow bird and I want to compare them but the yellow bird is done blooming already and it does look very similar but I'm not sure maybe you recognize there are more yellow uh, brushia type orchids brushia brushia cattleya whoops cattleya no idea yellow bird question mark I'm not sure but something like that but it's blooming and it's blooming uh, beautifully so and we have more cattleya blooms on the way but not yet so uh, those will be in a later video probably in about one or two months and of course we have some beautiful fells in bloom still in bloom they just keep blooming I, I think I uh, will have blooms all year around now I have them in the greenhouse this one is a fairly new spike such a beauty and in the back you see my Las Vegas just starting to open up uh, it's just opened up its blooms got a new spike this one beautiful blooms already working on new buds there we have one there we have this Bellina still blooming there's a red one here another red one but the blooms are way smaller as you can see so yeah those are doing uh, wonderfully well let's go over to this side this is the last section for today's video down here we have not much but here we have just about to start opening up my dendrobium phenoliopsis blue happiness with two beautiful spikes so, and the first blooms opened as we saw this is the Thailand black also very beautiful and behind that we have a first time bloomer for me this is the dendrobium oriental dark red but it's very purple whoops not much dark red but that was the tag it came with so I think it's it, it's the right name but I'm not sure and it's a little difficult to film because of the light behind it I hope this works better let me try this yeah beautiful shaped blooms then we have a no idea white dendrobium phenoliopsis opened up and behind that one it's the purple happiness but it uh, hasn't a uh, open flower yet yeah actually one here it's just facing the other way around let me see I hope you can see it a little bit I cannot move it any further but next video and that's blooming update it will be in full screen this is the snow jade snow jade no a polar fire I'm sorry the polar fire that is going over it's been blooming for quite a while then above the polar fire we have the chocolate banana banana chocolate not sure but it's beautiful look at that I really really love the colors on this one the yellow greenish color with that purple I think it does go very well together 
So zooming out and then we go down here where is uh, let's let's do this one first. This one is the one with five spikes. Look at that. Still blooming wonderfully well. Such very bright colors on this one. It's no idea. I really I don't even know the commercial name for this one. But the blooms are phenomenal. Such a fresh color and such a beautiful display. Well, above that one, I put my billabong, which is getting quite some sun. Let me move this way. I hope it's... Let me zoom in a little bit. I hope it will. There we go, I think. It's very hard to see on my screen, but it's a beautiful greenish uh, flower with a very nice... Whoops, I'm sorry. Purple lip. I'm not sure how this will uh, show on camera, but because it's so bright. But that's the original Billabong. And I have the Alba version also in bloom, and that is this one. And like I said in uh, another video, I, I do like the original more. Normally I I'm really a fan of the Alba, but that green and purple works a little bit better, if you ask me. But this one is still beautiful, of course, and very strong spike as well. So that's beautiful. And next to it, we have the first blooms opening on the new spike of my Sherry Baby. Just about to open up this one. And you see in the background there, we have two old spikes. <laughs> but it's, it's treating us with another beautiful spike, as we can see. Then over here I have this orange delight in bloom. Let me turn off the ventilator first. It's such a beautiful. It's it's called orange delight, but it's more yellow for me. But it's still it's. I think it's the orange delight. Probably turns up a little bit more orange when it's opening up longer. I don't remember. Strangely enough, but. Yeah, I think when I did, get, did get, uh, give this more light, the blooms did get a little bit more yellow. Anyhow, it's doing very well. It's a fairly large plant. And I was thinking about repotting it because it's growing out over the side of the pot. But uh, this pot is filled with roots. So <sighs> just like uh, with the Morliana, I just don't like repotting, especially when they are getting so big. We have a Miltonia still in bloom here. Nice purple one. Again, I'm not sure how this shows up. Because of the, we have, as you can see, a bit of sunshine. So my camera has a little bit difficulties to at least show it on the screen for me now while I'm filming. How it turns up, but this is the crush. Let me just saw. And uh, let's go above that one and here look at this well, probably this one will show up a little bit better this is Miltonia Angela Barker and this one has quite some spikes four in total one is already going over and I have another one that is one is not doing as well as you can see I did burn the leaves so it's having a little bit of a rough time, I think. But luckily I have one that is very big. Those came in one pot together. I did separate them and luckily I did because this one is growing way better than that one. Even though it was burned, but you can still can see it was way smaller to start with anyhow. And then we have this beauty. I have, this is a uh, Sandy, Sandy, Cough, I think I saw just saw it in uh, Natasha from one more orchids video at the show and I didn't have the original name I did have the crush that it is but I did see the original name as well so I will uh, change the tag because I like the original name better but this one is such such a beauty some orchids 
like more things in life like paintings or anything but you just need to see it in real life this one is one of them it's it's amazing you guys i like both of them actually beautiful colors this one is very special i really really enjoy growing this one then i need to turn this pot so have just a minute because the blooms are facing the other way so yeah there we are spike is still moving but um this is the brachia verona very nice blooms i think very bright colors fairly bright colors on the lip i should say and the, the burgundy dark purple spots on the uh, sepals and petals i really enjoy as well i think they go very well together with that uh, purple purple uh, pinkish lip <laughs> try to describe it the colors as good as i can <laughs> so let's move uh, over here because this one this very large orchid is still in bloom can you believe it it's giving blooms and blooms and blooms and this one is even getting some sunshine on it even though it's about that spike is a little bit fading but it's just opened up this one so you can maybe compare this is one is a bit darker but it's obviously still in bloom and that's the tag for it I hope you can read it if you really want to know. <laughs> and next to it, you guys, look at this beauty. A Arachnellii hybrid. Fairly large Miltonia as well. And it keeps on blooming. As you can see, it's done blooming and but still with that spike. But luckily we have quite a few opened. And some, even some buds to come, as you can see. And even in the back there, there are some blooms, there are some blooms. That one is doing very well. Then next to it we have this one that didn't do so well, but it's now giving me a heck of a lot of blooms. Very nice shaped blooms, I think. And then we have Miltonia cloesiae. As you can see it has a, uh, let me just try it this way fairly long spike the plant is over there and it has quite quite some a spike and this is the bloom up close look at that it's rusty orange with a fairly bright purple and a little bit of a hint of pink in the lip i think the color combination on this one is beautiful beautiful and we are lucky to have a little bit of sunshine today so that makes filming them a little bit uh, nicer i think and then in this corner we have my uh, sotoanum and yeah, look at those blooms beautiful quite a lot of them and more to come so this is great really great and then over here i have this one let me check whoops i hope you can see the blooms beautiful fairly large spike on this one and this is the tag for this one oh i'm sorry i cannot see what i'm doing here Oncidium pupicaea sunset and it's working on another spike so we will have even more blooms to come but yeah beautiful spike i think and right above it we have my Miltonia Sunset, the very bright one. I say the bright one because I have one that is, uh, has those spots in the bloom. Blooms, you will see that one. Not in this video yet, but I will. Uh, it's working on a spike. Oops, there goes the tag of my Pipikea Sunset. <laughs> Two spikes, one bulb, that's the first time, but I have another bulb, it's also working on two spikes. Normally I don't uh, have two spikes on the sunset, because this one, this is the spotted one, as you can see, it's working on this uh, bloom, but it only gives me one spike per, uh, 
per bulb so far. But I think we are doing better. And then we have this one. Still in bloom, but I need to uh, take the blooms off because the bulbs are shriveling quite a bit. It's working on new roots, but I need to cut the blooms off and see if we can uh, save this one. But the blooms are so beautiful. I really like these colors as well, especially when they are a bit fresher. <laughs> and in the back, you guys, look at that. This is the first time I have such a beautiful show bloom-wise on my Miltonia Peterkamp. And this one, I, I, I had some uh, troubles with growing. It did grow, but it wasn't as vigorous as I, as my other Miltonias. But then I learned from uh, Anna Maria from Milica Orchids. She did ask me how I did grow it in cell watering because she uh, couldn't hers to, uh, get, get hers to grow in cell watering. So apparently the Peter Kamp is not that easy to grow in self watering once again. But the, yeah, the only thing that I did was keep telling her, and yes, I say that out loud to my plants, this is the only way I will grow you. So you need to decide if you want to live or not. But this is how it's going to be, because otherwise um, I just don't have the ability to grow you well. And it took, I think, three years. Last year it did bloom. But now I have six spikes, three growths. Each ha have two spikes. So this is the best show so far. It's absolutely beautiful. And what a strange bloom, actually. Beautiful bloom, not, not, not strange in a bad way, but a combination of colors, shapes. And I mean the shapes, the, the, the edges of the colors. The blooms are itself are not strangely shaped. It's really a Miltonia, as we can see. But yeah, beautiful. The Moraliana, we just saw in one of my, uh, my, my actually my previous video. Oops, we did a repot on these guys. This one has way more blooms still open. What a show, right? It's such a beauty. Such a beauty. So yeah, I don't mind having three. I probably will get uh, two of them to a new home. If I uh, know somebody who really loves this one but so far they are here and uh, let me check let me check let me zoom out a little bit yeah the twinkles are not in bloom yet you see all those little teeny tiny spikes <laughs> but no blooms yet so they uh, they, they will take a, a few more uh, weeks at least as we know twinkles are not that quickly um, yeah, we did have a look at the fails. Just quickly checking, I always forget something. And I'm sorry for this interruption, but of course I did forget somebody. This beautiful Vanda, the white angel, is obviously blooming wonderfully well. It's just starting opening up these blooms. As you can see, we have some buds to come, but yeah, this beautiful white, greenish blooms. So yeah, she needed uh, a spot in this video as well. And yes, in the background you can see a second spike. Whoops, she's working on. So we will have more of these beauties in the future. But no, I don't think I did this time. Which I always think, of course. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this uh, blooming up the update. I really like making these videos. I really like to watch other uh, blooming videos as well of other growers. They're so inspiring and so nice to see how, uh, what you might expect from a certain orchid. And sometimes you get across something you didn't see uh, ever before and you want to like to buy it, to grow it yourself, etc. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these videos as well. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And of course, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.